Hello guys, today we're going to be working on some of the tricks that I use for making bases. As you can see, I have my uh, plastic wrap and I'm using it with a little bit of a stretch around my walnut bases. This covers up the, the top surface so any kind of scenery work, any kind of glue is not going to damage my um, wood, wood finish. So I'm showing you a few different basically bases I'm doing, uh, smaller ones and bigger ones and round and oval so you can see uh, a few times how I do it. A couple of rounds around the basically base. When you, when you pull that plastic wrap, it, it shapes itself all around that base and uh, it really covers it up pretty good. So that's trick number one. Now what we're going to do, we're going to replace that 2x2 two two stick that we have with a natural driftwood or a natural uh, or suitable type of a wood that uh, we can find. It's going to be nice for the scenery. The scenery is not going to be huge, um, plus this bird is going to be shipped, boxed and shipped all the way to Florida. So it's a long ways away and it, I need to make sure that um, whatever I do, I, I should do it a little bit on the heavier side so it doesn't really get damaged along the way and during the shipment. So, so far, I was thinking at first, I was thinking that this piece of driftwood uh, is going to be suitable to replace that and apply it into the scenery. Let's see what happens. So first what you need to do, you need to figure out where that stick is going to be attached. Of course, um, you see it all pre-cut with the right angle and everything. So it didn't really happen within the time that you're watching the video. I did it before just to save some time in the video. Um, you need to make, make sure that the length of the stick, the angle is going to be attached, it's all good and uh, make a hole into your recessed area of the walnut base. Uh, put a countersink underneath the base so the screw doesn't stick out and sits flat. And also make a pre-drill hole at the bottom of your driftwood so you can easily, with a longer screw, you can attach that wood into your base. So that area that you see I'm making a hole with the drill is exactly, yeah, I'm bringing it a little bit closer so you can see. That's exactly where the duct wire, the main wire of the duct is going to be attached to. Oh, by the way, guys, this, this is happening at least two, three weeks after the duct was mounted. So the duct is fully cured and dry. So that's why we're installing the scenery, uh, installing it into the scenery right now. It's not that you think that, you know, we do this right after um, we are, you can, I guess you can, but it would not be as easy because then you have to deal with all the beautiful base and whatnot and then it just slows you down. I like to use on a piece of stick and then I'll transfer it later. So I'm trying to um, detach that from that stick 
uh, straighten out my wire to the best that I can so it goes into the new hole on the scenery. Okay, seems to be working fairly good so far. But however, we need to add more wires. That first wire that you saw we installed inside the body, it's the main wire that is going to hold up um, the duck into the scenery, okay? But it's always wobbly. I like to use at least two or even three wires. I'll show you the trick, how we do that. So anyway, right now I'm shortening the wire, bring it out from behind the stick, making another hole and pushing it back into the stick. But one thing that you can do, I always like to do this, as you can see, it's going back into the stick. But it's going to be pretty hard for you to hammer that in so it's sitting flat. So the next trick that I'm showing you is your stapler. My stapler has served me so good that I, uh, as soon as I break it, I'm gonna go buy one more, one more, just like it. So this is almost impossible to push it through that stick. So if you remove all the staples out of your stapler, just use it as a jackhammer. Basically, you can push that wire and piece of cake into the stick, as you saw. It's a whole bunch of, um, basically, uh, without without staple but now I have a staple in it to secure that thing into the wood okay so now it's all good and secure I noticed that I've cracked it so I'm trying to see if it's going to stay up for me or not because I still have to put more um, wire into it to make it take that wobble away okay you know what it didn't work it did not work because that crack is definitely going to create problems along the way so yeah there you go it broke already so I'm basically detaching it from that uh, piece of broken stick and I'm gonna go find another piece of driftwood that is gonna look a little bit stronger and still nice Okay, this is my thicker driftwood right now, and actually it's, it feels a lot stronger too. So I'm replacing that new stick with the old one. Make sure the angle is right. Now we're gonna bring the bird and do it all over again. Right now we're just planning to figure out where to attach and which direction the hole's got to be made. Then we take the bird back into the bench vise and hold it up by the wire. It's, you can't see it but that's what I did. So I mark where I want to put my drill. I made a little bit of a cut and now I am making the hole. the same thing I'm basically pushing the wire back into the wood using my stapler the 
power stapler makes work a lot easier for you. Now I'm trying to get the motion and the position of the bird on the scenery right. Make sure that it's exactly where I want it to and then we'll secure the bird even more with more wires. As you can see, you know, with a little bit of a move, it's going to wobble a lot. If the client would be close to me, I could just live with that, but uh, I like to put more wire. So as you can see, I'm pushing another piece of wire into the body, and then the end of the wire is going to be bent right along the wood and is going to be stapled. So that's the second wire that takes care of the wobble quite a bit, but still wobbly for my liking and also for the long trip that we have ahead of us. It's going to be in the truck, it's going to be vibrating in the truck, so I push the third wire and then bend it along the wood and staple it again. So you just make sure that if you're putting two or three wires, especially when you're putting three wires into the body and stapling it into the scenery, you're forming a triangle. You're not putting all three in a line or something like that. Form a triangle that is the best um, uh, and the most secure way of attachment that you can achieve. So now I'm happy with it. Now I got some wire that I have to hide. Uh, we'll take care of it later. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to build up the scenery. I mean, there is not much to explain here except the beginning. I use wood glue to lay down some regular potter's clay, about half inch thickness. I um, glue it down. Potter's clay will stick fairly well if it dries by itself but a little bit of wood glue will will enhance it even more so there is a reason i embed my um, usually not the whole surface of the base but a, a majority part of it um, i basically put about half inch clay down so that is for when i want to push in the plants and scenery at least um, I'm going to be able to do that. Otherwise, I have to drill holes into the wood and it's not going to work. Or at least it's not going to be that easy. It can work, but it won't be that easy. So as you can see, I have these straight uh, plants. By pushing them, uh, basically dragging them or pulling them against the edge of the table, I'm easily turn or, or basically bending all the weeds to to all around and curling them to make them more natural otherwise they were just sticking up quite uh, straight and uh, this one had a very thick wire this plant had a very thick wire at the at the bottom of it sticking out so I decided still it's going through the clay but I decided to put a big hole into the wood and um, push it into that hole and for that because the, the wire was covered with plastic and plastic really likes hot glue so I filled up my hole with hot glue and pushed that plant right inside that hole that I made into the wood. and I push the clay around to close up that hole. Any of these plants that they have a thick wire sticking out 
and uh, it might be too heavy for staying upright in the clay I do the drill uh, trick to make sure that it's going to uh, get glued secured and really nice and hard into the wood the the lighter plants will be pushed into the clay and they will stay by the time dr clay dries it shrinks and really grab on uh, the plant that we're planting into the clay so it'll work out pretty good so now as I said you know the smaller plants will be for later now I have my thinned out Elmer's glue or white glue um, and I spray all over the clay and what you're seeing I'm applying is my uh, scenery compound um, basically compound I mean you can you can build it with mixing white glue and dirt I use the mixture of potting soil dirt a little bit of plaster a little bit of a paper pulp and wood glue all of these things you can play with and find your own uh, happy mixture basically is what I build my ground sceneries with uh, it's a pretty sticky um, compound and I apply it right over the clay basically to build up the ground but that clay is still soft and uh, is going to allow me to push some of my plants into it that thinned out water and uh, Elmer's glue that I have it in the spray bottle keep it handy because you're gonna keep spray that all over the place by the time that thing dries is solid it doesn't want to go anywhere it really works well You see that plastic wrap that we wrapped around the wood this is what it is for so if accident happens or if an overspray of the glue uh, basically gets on the wood you would have trouble but now we are covered with plastic wrapping around it so I have dry wood chip and dirt and mixture of all kinds of different things that I collected from the field and I basically put it all over the uh, compound that we put on top of a clay I'm gonna bring a little bit zoom in a little bit more so you can see better now I'm pushing my little plants into the clay wherever I feel I like to or wherever I think it's gonna look nicer if you have dried grass it works really well by pushing it into the clay it'll stay there for good and by the time you're done you can saturate the whole thing with your thinned out Elmer's glue from the spray bottle and then uh, you will be totally set pretty much we're getting close to the end of this video as well so we still have a couple things to hide and a little bit of a hot glue and moss will also um, hide all of those staples and all the wires just whatever you do don't leave them exposed hide them underneath the moss or uh, dirt or anything natural you can find thank you very much for watching this whole duck series if you like the videos please hit that like button we'll see you next week with another series or regular videos thank you very much enjoy the rest of the show